Hello everyone. I am Wing Commander Dr. B.C. Lathe, ex-senior psychologist, Air Force Selection Board, Dheradu. I have received a number of inquiries about the importance of filling of the PIQ. What for PIQ is filled and what is its role in the selection process. So let us understand very carefully the importance of PIQ. You see, you are required to fill your PIQ in two copies. PIQ, you all know, is Personal Information Questionnaire. That is your personal information. In other words, you can say that it is your biodata. Now, PIQ is filled in two copies. One copy goes to the psychologist and the other copy goes to the interviewing officer. The GTO does not get a copy of your PIQ. Now, your assessment by the psychologist is the starting point is your PIQ. Before opening your dossier, that is your answer book, he goes in detail, in depth of your PIQ, what all information you have filled. So it is not just writing your name and date of birth and age and height and all that, that also matters. You see, the psychologist never sees the candidate whom he is assessing, while the GTO and IO get to see the candidate and they get to talk to him. But the psych does not meet the candidate. Now, whatever you have filled in your PIQ, the psych makes a mental picture about the candidate from the details filled in your PIQ, like your height. So, psych will imagine that, okay, this boy or girl is a tall boy or a short boy or girl, then your weight, he makes a mental picture, okay, he is obese, he is thin, he is active. So, like this, all the information that you have filled matters. But these are, you see, fixed things, your height, your weight, whatever you mention, he just gets to have an impression about your physique. Now comes about your family background, your father, your mother, their education level, the town from which you are coming, is it a small town, is it a village or it is a metropolitan city. Delhi, Bombay. What difference will it make? It makes a lot of difference. Your place of maximum stay, if it is a village, your education is from the village, then you get some concession for your background. Like you did not get the opportunities as a boy or a girl who was brought up in a metro, in a modern city, he will get, he or she will get more exposure. So, you were deprived of that exposure. Now, with that background in mind, the psych is assessing you. Okay, this is the limitation this child has got. So, that was one part. Now, why your address and permanent address and place of maximum stay and all these things are asked, I hope it should be now clear to you. Now is the age. You are 16 years of age, 17, 18, 19. These two, three years make a lot of difference for NDA candidates. A boy of 16 years, response will be slightly different from a boy or a girl of 19 years of age. So, within the same category, whether it is NDA, FCAT, CDS, your age also matters. As the age increases, the expectations also slightly increase. That's why we say that it becomes a bit difficult for the repeater because now the age is increased, he has got exposure to the selection process, that's why the expectation is slightly higher. Now again your background, 
what type of school you have studied in if it is in a village or a remote area certainly your uh, study level the exposure in the school the type of teachers that taught you will all be different so we understand this background also that with these handicaps with these limitations this child has achieved this much so if given a chance the best of faculty the best of uh, exposure the best of training opportunities the trainability will increase this child is expected can be expected to do much better when he gets a better environment so now the next point uh, that comes in your piq fathers mothers occupation guardian your siblings brothers sisters so with this we come to know about the family background of the child fathers level, father mothers education level is low it means he has not got that exposure at home this is a handicap with this child so where there is a handicap don't worry you are being given the concession for that handicap so but that doesn't mean that you should uh, forge your documents or you should show that you know you have studied at village or you are from a village background and all that that is not correct but concession not to that extent that it will change the whole scenario but yes it is taken into account that uh, with this background what are your achievements so don't worry too much about it whatever is your background you that assessment part you leave to the side you don't start assessing on your own and uh, trying to fudge with the document don't do that be honest now next important thing which is there is your educational standards from class 10th onwards you have to write your performance academic performance so good academic performance means your you are an intelligent person a boy or a girl and you have achieved a good level in your academics you see when i say you have achieved good level what is your job as a student your job is to study that is the only job there are no distractions there are no family responsibilities there is only one job given to you by your parents by your school by your teachers by everyone to study what was your achievement when you were given this task if you have achieved well there are fair chances that you will do well in your service in your job also if you have performed well as a student you are likely to perform well as a employee also so that is an assessment which is being done so it is important to have good marks but then that is not the end of it if there were some reasons you did not perform well it doesn't mean that it is the end of the career it gives an idea yes then we look into the things that what could have been the uh, difficulties or the problems perhaps he has not been he or she has not been able to achieve as per the expected standards then as i have already told in a different video your oir also matters maybe you did not do well in a particular board examination you were not well or there was some difficulties in the family someone sick in the family some death in the family some some mishap some problem so now you perform 90 95% in your oir that is around oir 2 and that is not difficult i have told you earlier also you can practice from the Uh, books which are available in the market even e-books are available practice from that and improve your oir so anyway that was a different matter now coming back again to piq your marks performance your achievements if any mention those achievements then your 
sports extra curricular activities ncc training if you have done that shows your interest in defense services but if you have not done ncc because the ncc facility was not available in your school or college it's all right your participation in games and sports if you have participated well and good if facilities were not there in your school it's acceptable that is not uh, your weakness or your uh, problem or difficulty so in case facilities are not available in the school you can mention it there but expect questions in the interview now if you have participated in games and sports and uh, co curricular activities and still you have got very good record 90% 95% that shows that you have got a balanced personality you are an outgoing person you have interest in all other things and in spite of your distractions your participation in extra curricular activities and games and sports your academic result is record is excellent now for those who have 90 95% marks or 80 85 whatever is your record and no participation in games and sports so needless to say that that is considered as a constraint but if facilities are not available in the school then it's not a constraint because you could have participated if the facilities were available so this is regarding your games and sports but extra curricular and co curricular activities sometimes uh, children say sir uh, it was not conducted in our school so that's why we are seeing the level of the school also in some remote places many activities are not conducted in the school but in good schools progressive schools in metropolitan cities the schools they do conduct all these extra curricular activities if it was being conducted and you have not participated that is not considered good so you should have participated but still if you have not participated now you cannot rewrite that so what to do you can show your interest in those activities although you have not participated but you are interested in all those activities extra curricular activities as well as games and sports and then you can show your participation in hobbies not show but you should participate you should cultivate some hobbies you should have some hobbies so that again says that you are not only a uh, one sided of person one sided personality you are a balanced person so these all these things are natural and normal which a person should not only focus on his career or on his studies and all that he should live the life also have a balanced view and a balanced uh, area of performance and activity so this is about your games and extra curricular activity now one very important column is there position of responsibility held in games sports extra curricular activities or in school administration like monitor of the class prefect house captain house vice captain school vice captain school captain in charge of uh, co curricular activities games captain hockey captain football volleyball whatever games are there or vice captain or team in charge whatever activities responsibility your teachers have given you you see we it is understood that your parents and your teachers are your first assessors so when you write your self description in the psych test the purpose is to know what is your parents opinion and what is your teachers opinion other than friends and your own opinion so here what we are seeing is that how much responsibility your parents have given you how much they trust you how much they are confident about your sense of responsibility same way your teachers in the school they judge all the students 
and then give responsibility to whom they consider as a better person or whom they are confident that he will be able to shoulder the responsibility which is given to you and produce results so if they have assessed you and given you some responsibility that is a plus point in your pi now there have been occasions when children they feel that uh, sir this is only a very small thing i did should i mention yes mention unless you mention how will we come to it but it doesn't mean that you mention even very very small things that is not required but certain things like a class monitor even in class uh, let us say 7th or 8th or even in junior class or something you got award in drawing or painting or music these columns should not remain blank your activities your hobbies your co curricular activities your achievement in academics your position of responsibility these are the things that put some merit weight in your pi so i hope it will be clear to you i have given you a copy of the piq the copy is also available on the internet you can download it and take the print out take out take five six print outs because before you go you must practice filling that piq the time given will be limited so that much time is not available that you keep on thinking and then writing slowly slowly so at home itself you practice five six times filling your blank piq how fast you can fill how accurately you can fill without leaving any important columns so i hope uh, this will help you and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications about my new videos please like and share with your friends thank you so much